It was bad enough when they named Willie Muldoon the commissioner of noise control. But even worse, they gave him as his official car a very quiet 71 Ford LTD. Now, Willie is not exactly a crusader. And the new Ford is one of the quietest cars in the world. So you know what happened. Willie never heard a thing. All quiet on the east side, Chief. All quiet on the west side, Chief. I mean, if you want to take a quiet break in a 1971 Ford, okay. But don't do it on city time. Ford gives you better ideas. With the world getting noisier and noisier, it's hard to find a nice quiet spot these days. And it's becoming harder. Even out here. Noise. There's no getting away from it, right? Wrong. Because while everything's getting noisier, Ford cars stay quiet. Why? Because quiet cars come from strong cars. And Fords are built strong. Result? The 1971 LTD is one of the quietest riding Fords ever. Take a quiet break in the 1971 Ford. Ford gives you better ideas. The 1971 Ford LTD, one of the quietest Fords ever built. But to build a quiet car, you've got to build it strong. For example, we put strong steel guardrails behind the doors, like highway guardrails. Just how strong are they? Watch. We're going to lift the entire car, more than two tons, by the guardrails alone. Let's go. Steel guardrails. They're strong and durable, like the rest of the car, like our new body frame design, and our rugged suspension system. Take a quiet break in the 71 LTD or the new Galaxy. They're built strong to last longer. Ford gives you better ideas. This is where the noise is. And this is where the quiet is. The 1971 Ford LTD. The new Ford LTD is not only one of the strongest, quietest Fords ever, but also the most luxurious, with a beautiful new body frame design that presents a solid barrier against road noise. There is still a lot to be done about the noise out there. But we've already done a lot about the quiet in here. If noise is getting to you, Take a quiet break in the 1971 Ford. Ford gives you better ideas. To build a car as quiet as the 71 Ford LTD, you've got to build it strong. We put strong steel guardrails behind the doors. How strong? We're going to lift the entire car by the guardrails alone. Steel guardrails, strong and durable like the rest of the car. Take a quiet break in the 71 LTD or the new Galaxy. Ford gives you better ideas. At your Ford dealer's white sale, all we're selling is a good quiet car, and that's no baloney. The Ford Galaxy 500. One model gives you free power steering when you buy options like a vinyl roof and white sidewalls. On the other, you get free power steering and free power disc brakes with options like air conditioning, tinted glass, and other features. Your Ford dealer's annual white sale is a sale, and that's no baloney. Ford gives you better ideas. Mommy! Billy swallowed my goldfish and he threw dirt on me! Mommy! 
Mildred, you starch my socks again. How many times do I have to tell you no starch? No If you want to get away from it all, get into a quiet 71 Ford Galaxy. The quiet calms your nerves, and so does the price. Give yourself a break, a quiet break, in a 1971 Ford Galaxy. Ford gives you better ideas. The quiet 1971 Ford. One of the reasons Fords are so quiet is because they're so strong. And here's one of the big reasons for that strength. Ford's unique S-frame. To show you how strong our S-frame is, we've attached it to a crane. And with this S-frame, we're going to lift all these cars, plus the haul-away. That's more than 16 tons. Ford's S-frame, strong enough to lift 16 tons. Strength like this is a beautiful reason for buying a 71 Ford. But it's not the only one. Remember. We make them beautiful on the inside, too. Take a quiet break in the strong 71 Ford. Ford gives you better ideas. A famous European sports car designer compares the 71 Mustang to Europe's great road cars. Whoa! Holy smoke! Hey, Cabello, that's European road cars. No, sir, this is our new Mustang Mark I. One of six completely new models for 71. Cabello, look at the The hole in the hood. Our brand new air scoop, sir. And this is our color keyed spoiler bumper. Gross! That's a flat to back, eh? That's bad, but this is better. Ah. The Mustang has three completely different roof lines this year. Oh. But take a look inside. Oh. A new thin shell bucket seats. Ah. A new instrument panel. Shoot. There's a standard 302 cubic oh. inch V8. That's and a that. new wider stance for better handling. Do it, the, 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 the price. You're full of me. No? Oh, Sophie. Vittorio. Oh, Vittorio. Hey, you like it? Oh, see. Si, Bravo. Si. Hey, she likes it. Oh, yes. Mustang 71. America's challenge to the great European road cars. Hold it. She gives you a bad idea. Here's America's answer to the great European road cars. But how does a great European road car designer feel about it? Here, I guess the can look over here, sir. Our new Mustang Grande, the elegant one. Elegante, mucho grande. Yes, sir. One of six completely new Mustangs for 71. Oh, Grande, hi. That long, sloping hood is something, eh? This year's Mustang has a wider stance for better handling. A jeep. One of that fun roof line, eh? Oh, yes, sir. It's one of three unique roof lines Mustang has, and with an optional rear window defroster. It's all new and just about as plush as you can get. New thin shell bucket seats. Side guardrail. Huh? A choice of six engines. No. Yes, a key. Okay, senor. The price. I can't hear. The price. Yes. Senita, stop dancing. The price. You're full of me. Senita, stop dancing. Mustang 71, America's first great road car. Hey, caballero. Oh, she give you a better idea. See? 